Hello, my name is Brandon. I represent all surface roofing and maintenance, and uh, today I'm gonna show you how to replace worn or damaged cedar stake shingles. It's pretty simple. The tools you're gonna need for this, a hammer, a flat bar, some seven penny nails. All right, before we get started, uh, we wanna make sure we're safe. We wanna make sure we're tied off at an anchor point that's been secured to a rafter, preferably. We also wanna make sure that uh, we have some corkers on. If these things get wet, they're very slippery. You do not wanna be on these when they're wet. These shingles, they split out over time. They dry out, get brittle and split, or they rot away. So we wanna replace those. So we're gonna start by working your flat bar in and just gently popping up. We're gonna take these two out right here. You will not be able to get all the nails out because they're gonna be nailed up in here above them and you don't wanna break any more shingles or take out any more shingles than you have to. So, what we're gonna do is a little trick. You're gonna take the shingle once you've popped it up loose a little bit and we're just gonna gently smack it out of there and it'll come right out. Okay, my shingles are out. My debris is gone. And we're gonna find a shingle that fits. You do not want any keyway, they call it, or gap. You don't want them to line out on the same, on the same spot. So I wouldn't wanna put a shingle this big here because it'll fall out here. So you wanna split this gap, find a shingle that works. None of them will be perfect. And that one's really close. So. If you need to shave off a little bit of your shingle, there's a very simple trick to it. You just smack it where you want it to break with your hammer or your flat bar, and it will snap just so. We're gonna work this back in here. Preferably get it under your felt. Give it a little tap. Line it up with your old ones. We're gonna take our nails you want to get the nail where the next shingle is going to cover it. So we're going to go about an inch up. Only requires two nails. Just like so. Since we have a gap here and a gap here and not a big enough shingle to cover that area, we're going to use two smaller pieces. These two shingles look like they'll fit perfectly right here. So we're going to tuck these in here. Here is the trick to getting them in there without having any exposed nails on your shingle. You're gonna tap this up just about a half an inch or so before you get to the top. And we're gonna set two nails in. This is a trick not too many people know. We're gonna get it as close up to this guy as possible so you can nail it without hitting your other shingle. You see they're exposed now. We're gonna tap it up so your nails are no longer exposed and you're at your proper gauge. And there you have it. We've replaced a couple damaged cedar shingles. As you can see, it's uh, not very difficult. For any other questions, you can visit our website. Until then, be safe and good luck.